President Trump is pushing to undo a lot of his predecessor's legacy, but one action of the Obama administration is completely intact. Last May, a decree from the Departments of Justice and Education ordered all public schools to let their transgender identifying students use whichever bathroom they wanted to use, even if it didn't match their physical sex. That order is still in force. And in an odd twist, conservative Christians, evangelicals, and radical feminists are teaming up to fight it. Kara Dansky is the board chair for Women's Liberation Front. It's a self-described radical feminist group that strongly opposes President Obama's order, and she joins us now. Kara, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having Normally, me. Normally, you'll describe someone as a radical feminist, and they will take offense, but you describe yourself that way. Well, you might describe someone, and they might take offense, but I'm proud to call myself a radical Interesting. feminist. Interesting. So I just want to establish that... You, you, that you are not on the right at all in no. any way, and yet you've no. made common cause with people who are. Agreed. The line that struck, I was reading your views on this, the line that struck me was, this is more than about bathrooms. What does that mean? This goes far beyond bathrooms. And so when people talk about this as a bathroom bill or a bathroom controversy, it's really not about that for us. Um, in part, it goes to within the realm of like bathrooms, locker rooms, changing rooms, shower rooms, what the interpretation of sex to mean gender identity means is that potentially any male who self-identifies as female can access any women's bathroom, locker room, changing room, etc., dormitory, school. Yes. But it goes even far beyond that to redefine women and girls to mean essentially anyone who identifies as a woman or girl for purposes of Title IX, which matters to us because we think that women and girls are a meaningful category worthy of civil rights protection. You go on to say, this is about the erasure of women and girls. W what does that mean, the erasure? Well, Title IX was enacted in 1972 specifically to remedy centuries of discrimination against women and girls because women and girls had been discriminated against in and excluded from the educational arena for thousands of years, at least hundreds of years. And Title IX was specifically enacted in order to remedy that. But now, if we define sex under Title IX to mean gender identity, what we're essentially saying is that women and girl can mean anyone who self-identifies as right. women and girl, which renders the category women and girls meaningless as a category. And it goes further than that. We see this in language all throughout society. We see, for example, women are no longer allowed to talk about body parts. We're not allowed to talk about pregnant women. We have to talk about pregnant people. We're not allowed to say that women have certain kinds of body parts. Um, language is degrading. We're, we're seeing the erasure of women and girls as a meaningful Language category. and thought along with it. So yes. acknowledging biological reality is now hate, in other words. Yes. So how, I mean, you're, as someone on the left, I think it's fair to say, what has your life been like since you've said something like this publicly? Well, what most of us who say things like this publicly receive is a lot of hate online, um, threats. Uh, we're, we're, we're called transphobic bigots because we ask questions about gender identity. And then it goes further. Uh, we are often threatened with rape and death. We're told that we need to shut up and go die in a fire because we're asking questions and we're standing up for women and girls. And that seems to be n not permitted. And it's interesting to me that specifically the word bigot is used because the word bigot means someone who is intolerable toward another's views. Right. And I'm open to other views. Like, I, I am open. If I'm wrong about this, I will own it. If, I, if, if someone can demonstrate to me that there's some legitimacy to gender identity ideology, then, then great. I'm Rooted in, for example, science. Sure, sure. I'm completely open to that. But instead, what we see is when women and girls stand up and say, wait a second, what do you mean by gender identity? Like, I am a woman because I am an adult human female, which is the dictionary definition of woman we are shut down immediately and told that we're transphobic bigots. I just want to, I've never thought I would say anything nice about a radical feminist group, but you said, we exist to protect all women and girls regardless of political affiliation, and I just want to say thank you for saying that. Because I true. think that's good for you. You're rare. Thanks a lot, Kara. Thanks for having me.